up your brown book, baby. It's for you, it's for us, the fantasies. No one can judge us, no one can judge us. This is for us. Open up your brown book, baby. Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Shay Baby with the Brown Book Series and we're back mm -hmm, for another novel experience. And you know what, this particular young lady, I absolutely love her, but you know what I don't know? I don't know how to properly pronounce her name, right? And so, because I've heard a couple of people say it two different, three different ways. And, and and it was so funny because she did an interview and someone was talking about her name and she was like, oh, it's, it's whatever you want to say. And I was like, no, girls, pronounce your name so we will know. <laughs> Listen, I ain't got to pronounce her name. All I know is her books is fine. I bet you I can pronounce the name in the books. How about that there? All right. So are you guys ready? A novel experience with USA Today's best selling author. What, uh, wait, what's your name? What's your Hello. name? Naima Simone. <laughs> Naima. <laughs> How are you? I, I, I kept saying Naima. That's but, it. That's it. That's perfect. That's, that's how it's spelled. And I was like, that's how you pronounce her name. But I've heard somebody else say Naomi. No. Name. Name. I'm like, girl. No, and I've changed my answer since then. Because okay. Yeah, I have changed my answer since then because. I heard, oh, and I can't think of the person's name, but he had such a wonderful point. If people can get names like Hans Hanschersmoschen or whatever, and they can pronounce that, then you can pronounce Naima. And it's a beautiful name. It has meaning behind it. And my father named me after John Coltrane's song, and it's his favorite jazz musician. And he took so much time in choosing that name then, you know, and I'm very proud of that name. So, yeah. yeah. I've taken the time to make sure people pronounce it right. That's what I'm saying, girl. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I was like, honey, I want to make sure. I've been yeah. calling girl Naima, honey, but I <laughs> but I just want to I want to be clear. And I want to be correct. <laughs> yes, girl, because if you say you can call me whatever, honey, they're gonna try to start calling yeah. you whatever. And, and I've been up. called some things. I'm right. like, really? and, and the thing is, my sister and I, because her name is Nefertari. Oh so when we were younger. We don't even call each other by our first names. We call each other Nina because when we were younger, we could not pronounce each other's names. So to this day, we call each other Nina because that's what we've always called each other. So we used to tell each other, tell other people, well, just call us Nina. Well, we don't even do that. We're yeah. like, no, Nefertari and Naima. That's right, Naima, honey. Yeah, because right. They, start, <laughs> they say your name wrong now and they go spell it wrong on the chick. Oh, my. Like, you better get it right on that check. Oh, <laughs> I got some cash that. Got to cash that on this day. No, <laughs> hold on. the bank ain't gonna cash it if it ain't spelled right. Exactly. How about that? I'm so super excited to have you here with oh, us. I'm to be here. <laughs> it's so awesome. I was like, honey, because let me just tell you, honey, I was reading the books, right? And it was like the Boston billionaires and stuff and the millionaires. I was like, oh, she up here with me, girl. You had me going over at the over down there in Cape Cod looking for these people, honey. <laughs> I was like, that's down the street from where I live. Let me go down here and see who over here. You should have took me with you. <laughs> the next time, I'm telling you. The Bro, next time. Got you. Next time. Just pull up. <laughs> pull up at Logan. I'll be able to get you. And we'll go ahead and <laughs> handle this thing. Go ahead and handle this thing. So, Naima, tell yes. us a little bit of something about you. I know you're down there, Alabama girl. So, you know, what's up? What's going on down there? Are you from there? Are you just there visiting? You got married? Your husband made you stay? Like, what's up? Why are you in Alabama, honey? I asked myself that. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> let, me, let me not offend people. Okay. <laughs> No, she's, we're not offending y'all. Yeah. You're down in their heart. They thinking the same thing. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm originally from New Jersey. And I know that. That's why I'm like, girl, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm originally from New Jersey. I came to Alabama for school and oh. college. Met my husband here. He's from Florida. And I met my husband here. We got married. We ended up staying here, having kids. Men will do it to you every time. They'll mess you up every time. And having kids. And so we both just stay here. <laughs> I get it. I'm from Georgia. How I end up in Massachusetts. Oh, girl. right. So you get me, right? I Men will do it. Men will do it. <laughs> every time, honey. Every time. I, was, I told him, if I if he decided he don't like me no more, and I had to get another one, 
I'm going to be all, I'm, I'm, I got different sets of questions I'm going to ask this time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Where are we going? Where, where are we going? going? What's your plan? <laughs> you know what I mean? And if your plan includes unrooting me from my family and joy, we need to talk. We need to talk. That's right. Now, even though some of them I would have to leave, but I'm just saying that's beside the point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I got oh, exactly. So, how long have you been in Alabama? Well, I well, my son is like 20, so like twenty years now. So, might as well say, yeah, I can't even call myself a transplant anymore. Now, like my father and my mother are here now, but it's oh, they moved. Let's get this straight. They moved here for the grandkids. It was not because of us. Oh. It, yeah, they do not care about us anymore. It's That's all about right. the grandkids, and so they're here now. So, you know, I'm. Not even going back. It's just a done deal. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Alabama is nice though. We went to uh, where did I used to go in Alabama? Oh my god, uh, is it the Gulf? It's like almost yeah. like Gulf Shores. Yeah, Gulf Shores. So down there was cool. And then man, yeah. my homegirls are from Mobile. So honey, I was down there uh, Mardi Gras time, having a good yeah, girl. yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. I'm trying and, to move after my daughter graduates. <laughs> Naima, we up here trying to find the good in the place, now. Now you I'm not even alive. I'm trying to move back to New Jersey. No, the Boston. Come up here with me. I'm trying to get him to move northeast or like west. Can I go to like I want to go to Washington State oh, or no. like Oregon, somewhere with four seasons. That's here. in a blue state. That's a year. I got four seasons in a blue state. A blue state. Can I just in four seasons? Those are that's my three criteria right there. That's I'm trying to go after my door to graduate. So give me another what, like two, three years? Okay. Yeah. No, we'll get you. I think um, one of my neighbors actually is moving across the street. (laughs) <laughs> I'm trying to get her to stay. I am really trying to get her to stay. But if she decides she wants to leave, because you know she Let's like your up. like your um your parents, she want to go be close to the grandparents. Yes, I mean get close, you know, be close to the grandkids. Yeah, yeah, and so it's not they're not lying. They don't even try to hide it. They don't yeah. care about their kids anymore. <laughs> All about the grandkids. <laughs> yeah. She's up there now. She hit me up. I was like, I'm gonna be up here for a week with the granny. I'm like, what is going? So yeah, so when they move, I hook you up. Please do, please do. Nice house. I'm gonna need pictures. Like, yes. I'm trying to convince him. Okay, I'm trying to convince him because he's trying to like trying to go back to Florida, and I'm like, listen, that's too hot. It's mm-hmm. too hot. They don't have seasons Mm-mm. and hurricanes. See, so, not for me. And they're not a blue state. Well, they're a blue state now, right? No, they're still not a blue. We we didn't flip them. It's no. okay though. We'll leave that alone. You gonna leave it? <laughs> it's all flip now though. You gonna <laughs> anyway, <laughs> catch that? We gonna, we gonna leave that alone now. Leave that alone. <laughs> I don't hurt nobody. We don't hurt nobody's feelings, honey. We love everybody. We just love <laughs> love some a little more than others. That's all. <laughs> That's it. Naima, girl. Hey, no, you're doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> I'm okay. trying to go there. We're gonna leave it alone. Hey, we, we just go. We're gonna move on. We're gonna, We're gonna move, on. move on. We're gonna move on. Okay. So <laughs> when did you when did you start writing? <laughs> it's listen, I don't know why me and these cups. Every time I pull this cup out, it's something wrong. Listen, I got water. Huh? I got water. I don't know. Girl, you didn't get you. I'm not in your cup. <laughs> it's, it'll be already filled. All you gotta do is open it up and drink. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be good. Okay. Okay. okay, uh okay. When did I start writing? Well, yeah. I started writing when I was younger. Okay. okay, a lot younger. My first romance was, and people think I'm joking when I tell you when I tell them this, but I'm dead serious. My first romance was about me and Ralph Tresvert from New Edition. In, in Massachusetts, you could... Listen, no, I realized I went to a New Edition concert at Great Adventures, right? Mm-hmm. And I realized when, when I heard them sing Lost in Love, mm. I was deeply in love. You was lost in love? <laughs> lost it. 
And I realized that, and I waited, I did. I waited, I gave it a good grace period. But then I realized nobody else was gonna write our grand love story. So mm -hmm. I had to, mm -hmm. and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And it was a start of something magical. So I wrote another book and another book. And then eventually it changed to me and Donnie Wahlberg from New Kids on the Block. You and love Massachusetts men, don't I'm you? you? I'm telling you, it's something about them Boston men. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> what you growing up there? Girl. That's how it became. That's how I started writing. I just wrote like a whole bunch of fanfic about me and all these. And eventually, I stopped starring in them. <laughs> but <laughs> my first romances, of course, they never came from under my bed. But that's how it started. And eventually, as a matter of fact, the first book I sold to Alora's Cave, my first book actually started out with me and Tony Wahlberg, but I switched us out. Oh my God. I, I was... <laughs> I yeah, love I've never told that to. <laughs> you said what? I've never told anybody that. <laughs> and, and it actually did start that way, but I switched us out. I love it when you guys come on here and tell all your secrets. <laughs> yes, that, that, that did start out as fanfic. And yeah. And that's the first book I ever sold. Really? 2009, yup. It started out as fanfic between me and Donnie. Wait, you know, sold a book between you. <laughs> you just said, change the name. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, th their names are just different. But yeah, that, that was the first book I ever sold. Oh my God. So yeah. how hard was it for you to get published? Um, It took... Now that book went through a lot of reincarnations and it, so it, I started that book after my son was born and that was in what, 1999 and it didn't get published to 2009. So it went through a lot of reincarnations. I took a lot of classes, joined RWA in the meantime, learned a lot more. And I had friends who, um, especially a really good friend, Deborah Glass, who was already published and she read it over for me. She already was published with Allure's Cave and she just like said to her editor, hey, um, I have a friend. She's really good. She's going to be submitting. Take a look at it. And she actually, you know, put in a good word for me. And I don't know if it helped or not, but they requested that book. And so, I mean, it took, like I said, 10 years, <laughs> but I, I was eventually published, but it was a lot of, it was hard work. You know, you just keep plugging and you keep plugging and you never give up. But after that, um, 10 years later, here I am. Cause I, well, 11 years now. Right. Yeah. That's what's up. And it's good though, that uh, uh, another, well, now a fellow colleague in this whole being an author, a romance author was like, Hey, you know, wasn't no hate, wasn't no anything like that. I was like, Yo, this not. girl is good. Look at her stuff. And that's what you need. That's, that's high. I love that. Well, I'm not going to lie. You'll find that happens often. I, I will say it's more the norm than not. I mean, I right. know we hear horror stories sometimes about yeah. the competition and everything, but for the most part, my experience, I found authors are more kind and encouraging and supporting mm -hmm. than the other way. Yeah. You know, I've, I've really, for my, my experience has been that way. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. So look, let's test your experience real quick in <laughs> your uh, book writing. So <clears throat> clear my love. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't be scared. Everybody always say that. Don't, don't be scared, girl. We family. So here at the family, we play a we have different segments, and we have a segment <laughs> called Name That Book. Oh well, my god. <laughs> well, we take a passage or a character or something from a book, and you just have to name that book. One of okay. your books. One of my books? Yeah, girl, one of oh, your god, books. I can't even remember the last book I wrote. Okay, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Hold on, I gotta get ready. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get ready, honey. Me and I <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, hell, baby. Let me get I know you're killing it too. Let me just tell you. You're killing it. Oh, that honey. Thank you, girl. It's my girl Kaye. Hey, Kaye. Kaye hooks it up. <laughs> okay. Name that book. Miss USA Today's bestseller author, Naima Simone. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. This one is going to be easy. You're going to get this one. Name okay. that book. Boston socialite Morgan Lett. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I know this. Um, oh, okay. I know this. Don't, don't. A Millionaire at Midnight. <laughs> a Millionaire at Midnight, girl. Yes. I'm a, I'm a Millionaire at Midnight. <laughs> yeah, I got to looking around, honey. I was like, what's <laughs> Okay, you're doing great. Okay, okay. So, I, yeah. Name that book. Now, this is a passage. When I read this, though, okay, it was so funny to me. Okay. Okay, okay. you ready? I'm ready. Right. Name that book. Immature? Yes. Vindictive? Yep. Felt good? Most definitely. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember that. Okay, wait. Immature, yes. I have no clue. It was a breakup by tweets. Okay, wait. Oh, um, no, wait. No, oh, wait. I got it. Um, I witness, witness the passion. You cheated. I don't <laughs> like, like the only book I ever broke up by tweet. <laughs> I need you get together over there, girl. Yes, I was like, oh, honey, when she, honey, when she tweeted back with that picture of his. Ooh. <laughs> You know my inspiration for that was what? I want to you know. Sex in the city mm. when Aiden broke up with her by that sticky note. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> Girl was like, I, and when I saw his breakup, the dude, I was like, okay, he broke up with her. You know, I'll get stuff at my apartment. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And she was like, honey, your thing ain't big enough. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I thought we could work this out, but honey, it is the size, honey. It's not just the motion in the ocean, baby. You got to put something in the ocean to make it flow. I said, honey, Naima is wrong for this one, girl. But it was so good. Yeah, petty. That was it so was petty. petty. I loved it. I did, too. It was girl, funny. Because right? I wish, I, I would just wish, that's like a woman's wish to mm -hmm. do that. <laughs> she did that, honey. And she, she knew it, too. Did that, did that. <laughs> Immature, yelp. Whatever. <laughs> All right. It is what it is. It is what it is, honey. Or what it ain't compared to that picture she showed. <laughs> <laughs> Next person. <laughs> Name that book. G Gabriel Devlin. Oh, oh. um, It's the Lick series. No, no, no. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's no, 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 no. I got this. I got mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Secrets and Sins, Gabriel. No, I'm like the name, the book. I know, but I was mixing it up with the other guy. <laughs> name. I know, I know, I know. It's the name of the book. I know. It's the name of the book, girl. I tell you, I tell you, like, I don't even remember the book I wrote last one. <laughs> Just, okay, I get. I know, I know, I know. It's so bad, girl. I love it though. This is so hilarious. She said, I know this one. <laughs> Write this book. Let me find out. I'm telling you, I know. I'm going to get, when, when, when we get off this, I'm going to go in the room. I'm going to be like, you're so Girl, I love that. It's so funny. Oh. Okay, it's next one. Be ashamed. You shouldn't, girl. You good. I actually just finished reading this one um, last night. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know why I'd be going backwards. I, you know, um, Brenda Jackson, right? You know, I love her. Oh, do I? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's like Brenda, honey. Oh my gosh. I told her, I said, I'd be messing up. She said, What? I said, Because I like, like, I'll, you know, see all of these different books and whatever. And I'm like, Okay, cool. You know, and I'm going to interview Naima. So I need to make sure I have read the book, her latest, the one that just came out um, February 1st. But then I get to reading. And then I don't know something to trigger me, and I'll be like, oh, and I think about another one of your books. Like, uh, you know, I remember this one, this, so I'll stop the book I'm reading and go back and read. Something is wrong with me. I, need I to do it all the time. I do not like, I tell my, it gets on my mother's nerves because she is a person who has to read a book, cannot let it like, down. stop. She has to read it in order. She can only read one book at a time. I call myself a book hoe. I, I do not believe in book monogamy. I'm going to DNF a book in a minute, and I'm reading like three or four at one time. Yes, <laughs> I was tripping. I'm, I'm, I'm going to read them in order. 
I me mean, either. I'm like, all time, I'll be a book hoe. I don't I care. <laughs> then I thought at the end, one of her, one of her, um, her, um, ah, her moderators for her book club, right? Uh-huh. Miss, her name is Brenda too. I was like, oh, she's like, you. I said, I'll start to read the Westmoreland series, one of her series. From like, where did you start? I said, with well, Bane. They were like, baby, that's the last book. I was like, oh, I need to start over. <laughs> I be mean, just, I don't read them in order. <laughs> and, and then, about spoilers. Like, what? Right, girl. I, it's so crazy. It just <laughs> makes me want to go back and read the other ones. I don't care. <laughs> All you know is, okay, he's married to this person. That's that, right. But you know the story of it. Uh, yeah, it just makes me want to go back and read about them. It does not matter to me. Right. So I don't know what about this book made me go back and read something, but um, <clears throat> it you're, did. you're a woman after my own heart. No, honey, I told you we here, honey. We here, honey. All right. Name that book. He snorted. I'm pretty sure karma starts with a K, he said, arching an eyebrow. Just one fiance. <laughs> I know that. Yeah, I, I, remember, I remember that. I remember that. And I think because I was reading your latest novel, it made me go back to read this one. Because I was just like, honey, this all trust my fiance. That book was everything to me. Because he mentioned them in, in <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he mentioned them. I was like, oh, wait a minute, let me, you know, these are connected. Hold on. <laughs> a mess. So that leads us to your new release. Yes. Back in the Texans' bed, a secret baby reunion romance. <laughs> okay, now this book was released February 1st. Yes. 2021, honey. <laughs> First off of it. I love it, honey. So, tell us a little bit. Well, you know what? I love the part I read because, like I said, I stopped and went. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, backtrack. Hold up. Let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> But I was I was halfway done though. But I just, <laughs> pray for me. I need to stop doing that. I'm gonna like so I would, but then I'd be a hypocrite. So you know, right. see, we here. We're both we both, we both we both gonna need hands put on us. So <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now tell us a little bit about this book without giving us a spoiler. Since I'm I'm on my last. Okay, week. I got you. I got you. I'm I'm gonna do this without spoilers. Okay, Thank you. just a All little right, bit. Cool. <laughs> Well, this is for those of your viewers who don't know about the Texas Cattlemen's Club. It is the longest running series in um, Harlequin's Desires line. So I think it's like 20 years, maybe 21 years now. And it is about, it's set in Royal Texas. And it is about all these families set in Royal Texas. And Air Parent is the newest miniseries in the Texas Cattlemen Club. And this is book one, Back in the Texans Bed is book one, and it's about the Edmonds family. And I have, I'm writing the story about uh, Ross Edmond, which is the oldest son in this, uh, the Edmonds family, which is like the, he's the heir to this oil empire. And he had a secret affair with uh, Charlotte um, Jarrett uh, three years ago, and she was the chef for his family. And they had this secret affair. It's kind of like an upstairs, downstairs romance as well. And she left three years ago. What he didn't know was that she was pregnant. And for those of you who don't like secret baby romances, I get it, okay? But trust me, and I hope you trust me that I didn't do the cardinal sin of making her unlikable. So she returns after three years. He finds out he has a son. And they have to navigate this whole thing of him finding out he has a son and them finding their way back to each other in this uh also navigating a whole nother secret between their families and a scandal that's brewing with this uh, festival that's going on. So it's a family scandal. It's a scandal with this festival and the whole secret baby thing. Girl, there's a whole lot of scandal. It's, it's a lot going on. I, I thought Olivia Pope was just going to pull up in the middle of it. Yeah. Girl, so like family drama, secret baby drama, second chance romance drama, and it's hot because I didn't hold back. You sure <laughs> I said, Oh, how does read now? Like, she's my kind of girl. That's why I had to go back to the other book real quick. I'm like, hold on, man, what I miss. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Now, how long did it take you to write this book? 
Um, let's see. Well, I'm like thinking back because I wrote it last year. I think it took me like two, maybe seven weeks to write it. Girl, but you, you two weeks. Like, what is you two weeks? Girl. Oh my God, no! I wish. Then I'd have the book that I'm writing now done. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think like it took me a little like seven weeks, two months to two months to write it. Okay. Yeah. Now, how long does it normally take you to write a book? A book this size, it usually takes me about two and a half months to write. Two and a half months. Yeah. Okay. Two and a half, three. Depending if I'm like under the gun deadline. <laughs> now, when you guys say, because I hear a lot of um, authors, they're like, oh, I'm on deadline. I'm on deadline. I'm like, okay. So when you say you're on deadline, that means deadline for the book to just be done and go to editing or deadline for it's a wrap, it's the editing, that's everything. Like, how does that work? No, it's deadline for me to turn it into my editor. Okay, okay. And okay. then from from there, um, it might be like uh, six to like six weeks before I get like my first round of edits back from my editor. Okay. Yeah, for the book to be finished, that that first draft. Well, for me, first draft. I know there are a lot of edit, a lot of writers who write the book first. That's their first draft, and they go back and do a ton of edits themselves before they turn into their editor. I'm not that writer. Like I write and edit as I go okay. and then turn it in to my editor. And so for me, I write the book and then turn it in. And that's, that's my deadline. And then after that, um, it'll be like a number of weeks and then I'll get my first round of edits back from my editor. Now, what happens if we, if you miss your deadline? Do they like make y'all, do, do, do they charge y'all or something? Or is it <laughs> because I always miss my deadline. You but, always yeah. miss not always, but <laughs> not always because I hate to put that out there. But, even, no, but I, I miss my deadline sometimes. <laughs> but no. I mean, it's usually because something has come up. And I and I mean it's not like a long time, maybe like you know, a week, like a week yeah. or something. And my my editor is usually very, very understanding. Because they know so you're gonna get them like a week late or something. Right. And they know you're gonna get them hot book. But listen, when you come up here to Boston to visit me, don't be on deadline. Turn your stuff in. Listen, I'm always on the deadline. Like, and then come up here. I'm always on a deadline. Like right now, I have a book due on the 15th. Of February. Girl, I do not envy you guys at yeah. all. Well, I'm I'm telling you, I need a deadline because it keeps me honest. Because if I didn't have one, I'm one of those, I'm a procrastinator by nature. I wish I was, but I am. And I blame my father. It is your fault, Daddy. If I didn't, I would be like, eh. I could do that tomorrow. Daddy, I didn't say it's, that. It's, it is your fault. It's your fault, Daddy. Daddy that was he knows it. He, he he knows it, Pastor. And so I'll be like, yeah, you can't call know. the bishop out. You can't call out the pastor. He know it. Daddy wasn't me. Pray for me. Dope. That's her. <laughs> that wasn't me, Daddy. He know, he know it. He know it. You say he know it. So you know, PK child. You know, PK. Yes. All day. God. Oh, sweet Jesus, man. <laughs> yeah, me and you going to be great friends. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, back in the Texas bed, like I said, it came out on February 1st, and this is book one. How yeah. many um, books do you see, what the, do you think you're going to have in this series? Well, this is, since this is the Texas Cattleman series, it's a multi, um, it's a multi-author series. Why is that? This is just how that series is. Like the Billionaires of Boston series, like that's my own series. Mm -hmm. I write every book in that series. Right. But this one, that's just how the TCC is. Like it's a multi-author mini series that has an overarching like mystery that goes through it. And every book is written by a different author. Yeah. And so you're giving a story Bible with a with the synopsis for every for every book and a different author has every book and that mystery runs through the whole series so the next book will be written by i, I want to say it's karen booth i want to say it is 
And then my characters will show up in maybe like book two or, or book four and they'll make appearance. And it's so fun. It's, it's fun because um, one, authors that I've just admired for right. years, I get to work with um, because they'll maybe like email me or we'll, we'll have like a group on Facebook, a private group on Facebook. And I'll get to like, we'll ask each other questions to make sure that the continuity is, is clean right. um, to, or, you know, to make sure that we're getting our, our notes straight because sometimes things will change in the story Bible that we have to make sure if something changes in my book, that it's going to change in somebody else's book to keep it straight. And let's just be honest. We don't even want to read your book, and it's hot hella good. And we go to the next text and series thing book, and we like, girl, why now? Uh, <laughs> look, me, why name? Not even just didn't write their book too. <laughs> yeah, well, see, and that that's the thing. Like the the editors handpick these authors. So do they get the authors that you guys kind of have the same writing style? Yes, definitely. Okay, definitely. They 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 want to make sure the voices gel. So right. they, they'll they'll pick voices that are similar but not the same, right? But uh -huh. voices that readers love, um, voices that readers are familiar with, but are different enough to keep the readers very interested. Got you, got yeah. you. as you know, mm -hmm. my interest be tripping. But I like. Yeah. I, 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 I was going to say this because I've seen the story bible because we all we get the whole story bible and this thing will be like eighty pages thick. And we get to see all the characters that are in the complete series. And I'm just going to say this. I'm so excited about it because this might be the most diverse series that I've awesome. ever seen out of the Texas Cattlemen's Club. Like awesome. it has Latin characters, Asian characters, black characters, white characters. It has everything. And I'm so excited about it. So I need to be book number one though, girl. I don't know. And I'm so honored personally. <laughs> it's a relay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a relay. Everybody know the first leg and the anchor gotta be strong. <laughs> And, and I'm like, I'm excited about it because when I was in school, they never picked this girl to, to you know, start the relay out because asthma and stuff, you know, they didn't do that. No, nah, girl. <laughs> can't have you, girl. I was angry. Nah, they didn't have me. I, I brought up the real, honey. Mm, I brought up the real. And listen, speaking of bringing up the rear, <laughs> it brings us to our next segment in the Brown Book series. Oh, Lord. Rear. Called, called Who'd You Rather? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Who would you rather, honey? Oh well, my we, God. <laughs> well, we pit the, the heroes from each of your books against each other, and you let us know which one you okay. rather. Hey, which one you rather? <laughs> <laughs> you ready? <laughs> All right. I'm, re I'm ready. This is so cruel. I know. I love it. <laughs> Trying to be, I didn't get the ones. I tried not to get the ones that was a slam dunk. Like she gonna pick over everybody. Okay, okay. man, this is like you know. Not up. All right, but I didn't try too hard. Who'd you rather, <laughs> Kane Pharrell or Joshua Loeb? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do Kane. I'm gonna do. I did Kane too. Yeah, because he's got that like. Who mean intensity that yeah, okay. All right, I'm Duquesne. Yeah, honey, I did Kane too. Girl. I like the a-hole. <laughs> yes. All right. I, I do, I do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, my honey. No. All right. No. <laughs> Who'd you rather? Zephyrin Black or Dominic Anderson? This is so mean. That was gonna be so that's why I had to soften the blow with the first one. Oh. Okay, listen. I'm going purely, purely off my inspiration board. Okay, that's okay. the only way I can answer this. Okay, my inspiration board. I use Shamar Moore for Zephyr and Black. Okay. So I'm going I, with Zephyr and Black. I can see that. I okay. Can see that. I, that's the only way I'm choosing. That's the only way. The only way? Okay. Only way. So if he want your inspiration for Zephyr, then I'm just saying, like, who's your inspiration for Dominic? 
It was um, what's the name who played Outlander? Who played what's uh, Jamie? What's the name on Outlander? <laughs> I don't remember Jesus. Oh, he's so fine. He's so beautiful. I can't remember his name in real life, but <laughs> he played Jamie. He plays Jamie on on Outlander. Okay, so you um you, you going with Shamar Moore? I am because okay. Shamar Moore is <sighs> Shamar Moore. How about that? <laughs> So, I watch him every week on SWAT, and I still watch reruns of Criminal Minds. Let me tell you, I love me some Criminal Minds. Me too. I was just so, watching it last night. I so, love me some Criminal Minds. I love the older ones, though, when him and Hotch and all, when they all was together, and Gideon was there and all that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I love him. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Here's another one. Who'd you rather? Melchim Gerard or Raphael? Raphael. Marcel. Raphael. The tats. The tattoos. Yeah, he was tatted up for the gun. Yeah. And the hair. And oh, the hair. Yeah. I'm a sucker for that. Yeah. Hands he, down. He was tatted for the gods. Yes. Like, this is cute. This yeah. Is cute. Okay. See, the tats. Mm -hmm. see, that was easy. See? Yeah. Yeah. So, that was an easy one. It made up for the last one. <laughs> So that's, I was like, I'm going to throw E here, in and out. I ain't going to make a do all that. I'm going to be good. Okay. The next segment we have is called Dead or Alive. <laughs> this is so much fun. Dead or Alive. <laughs> this is fun ever. If you were hosting a dinner party and could invite five people from any era, who would it be? Dead or and can they be like fake people? What you mean fake people? Like people from books? <laughs> can they or girl it tell you something? That would be hot. <laughs> like, okay, they gotta be real. Okay, they gotta be real, but you just gave me an idea because people from books, I'm gonna tell you, from a book, the book yeah. uh, Shana, what's his name? Rourke Belt Butchum. Yes, like. I, I want to have dinner with Roy. Seriously, like, okay, because right, I'm I'm just asking. Okay, okay. All right. no, no, this okay. one is, is is real people. Real, real people. Okay, yeah. any era. Okay, any era, dead or alive. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. All right. I I went Malcolm X. <laughs> I do. I, 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 I that man. Well, let me tell you something though. That man's sexy. That man was sexy. C can we talk about that? Bro. He's a ginger and he's brilliant and he's hot. Okay. Can we talk man. about that? Yes, honey. I'm telling you, he he was I, brilliant. Yes, he was. Yes. I, I would love to have him at a dinner table. Mm -hmm. um, Jesus. <laughs> I, I would. I'm just saying. And it would be endless wine. Girl, <laughs> I want to come. I'm gonna be. I'm in the back. Oh, I bet he makes some good wine too. I, I bet like, the best. Well, I'm like, you know, a little cabernet. <laughs> you ain't gonna be the cheap stuff now. Okay, okay so we got Jesus. We got Malcolm X. Next. Okay. Um. <laughs> A good table so far. I'm thinking about the wine. <laughs> you're, going, you're going to think I'm crazy for this last one, but I'm just so fascinated with her. I just, I just am Queen Boudicca. <laughs> I just, I'm just so fascinated with her. I and she would be. A, I really, I am. Why are you so fascinated with her? Fear. She was. She fierce. now. She was. She was fierce. I haven't heard her name mentioned in. I don't know how in years she was fierce, and for her to have led the straight a straight army, and for her to have came back from being like the tragedy she suffered, yes. the army, and to like be a queen, a warrior queen. I mean, there's statues to her because she was like. I just want to pick her brain. Girl, you are really an author. Because I, <laughs> I do. I just want to know. Yeah. How she rose up from watching her children being raped, like her, her daughters being raped, and then to come back 
and to conquer. Like, how did you pick it up and go forth the next day? Like, what happened? What a romance? No. What was your strategy? What like, you was gonna pick it? You need to make a romance novel out of that, honey. She, she was fierce. She was yeah. absolutely fierce. Okay, that's three, right? Yeah, I'm so intrigued. I'm gonna come to your party. This is cool. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, who else? Who else? Hmm. Uh, C.S. Lewis, absolutely, hands down. Okay, because he's like one of my favorite, favorite authors of my absolutely all time favorite book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Hmm. And uh, well, you said I can't have a, a no fiction, right? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Michelle Obama. I knew he was gonna say Michelle. Michelle, let me tell you something. Absolutely. Every time I ask this question, Michelle didn't ate at everybody's table. I can't. I. I, I love, love her. her. I, I love her. her. Yeah. Is that five? Was that five? So we got Malcolm. We got Jesus. We got Queen Buddha. We got. See, yo, yeah, yeah, Michelle. Okay. Yeah. Girl, your table gonna be lit. <laughs> it's gonna be really lit with all that. <laughs> I'm just sitting back like this. Who gonna be who you? Me. I'm just gonna be sitting back like this. Discuss. Girl, no. I, <laughs> you I have nothing to add. I'm just gonna let them just do this and I'm just gonna be sitting back listening. You gonna be, you gonna be drinking that wine. That's what you're gonna do. I'm you're gonna, 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 <laughs> gonna be sitting back And if I can add an honorable mention, if I okay. can I would love for my grandfather to be there. Because um, I think he would just totally, totally add to that conversation. Totally. Uh, he would be, he would just be perfect among those people. Perfect. Uh, I love yeah. it. Yeah. I love it. He would be worthy at that table. Absolutely. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we got her table, y'all. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Naima, what do you like to do when you are not writing? Sleep. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I am a champion napper. Okay. <laughs> a champion napper. Okay. I do my best plotting when I am napping. You know what? I do too. When I'm, yeah, you know, when I, I'm I love to sleep. Yeah, me too. And if I'm not doing that, I'm reading because I don't. Like that revives me, like that excites me to read a good book. And I know every writer says that, but it's just true. I love to read. I love to to sleep. You know what? To be quite, well, no, the, the writers that I've asked this question, and none of them said they like to read. No, no. Seriously? <laughs> what? They oh, said they like to read. You do not. Girl, they, they, they're like, we what write. They say? I guess they feel like after they finish reading, I thought all the edits, they done reading. They <laughs> no, oh my God. Like, <laughs> and when, when, when I'm not writing, like, I, I like to close the door. Mm -hmm. I like when my husband goes, like, I got to make sure you're not listening. I like when he goes to Bible study and takes my daughter with him. So I'm in the home by myself. So I can close the door, even though nobody's home, turn on a TV and read without no guilt, without nobody expecting me to do anything right. and just read and just and go to sleep. I love it. No guilt. She missing church to read. Look at you. Hey, the Lord understands. No, 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 no. I'm watching online. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I got you right. She uh, listen. I'm. I'm right. sorry. She right. girl. A oh, mess. I love it. Okay, Naima. What? <laughs> How many books? Well, okay, we, we already asked how, well. How many books have you written, and how, uh, which one is your favorite? Oh, um, I want to say, but the one that just came out, I think it's my 28th. Okay, I think I haven't counted lately. I think it's my 28th. Okay, that's been published. I don't know how many I've written because the one I'm writing now might, uh, yeah, I don't know. 
but the was <laughs> published. <laughs> the Probably you haven't been published. 28. Okay, 28 <laughs> might be. Yeah, that might be my 28 that's published. So the way it came out. Well, hold on. So when you write a book, but some of them don't get published, or they because the I turned them in ahead, like way ahead of time, like because the one that's just published I wrote last year. Right. So there, I've written more since then. Gotcha, gotcha. And then like four since then. Gotcha. So yeah, that that one's good. That was written like last summer. Okay. Last year. So yeah, I think that'd be like my, I think, yeah, about that. And oh God, like my favorite. Your favorite girl. That changes. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause your favorite, my books of yours that are my favorite. They change too. They be changing. Yeah, I, oh my, like this is my favorite. Yeah, I know. I I can't even answer. Like, I I love. I love them for like different reasons. I love sending ink because it's the first of my first one I wrote first person. Right. Um, I love the. I'm cheating. Say I love the wax series. <laughs> like the whole series. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I I love I like I love <laughs> you love your books. You like all of them. I I love blame it on the billionaire because it's like it, I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> just love it. Now that I know your I, I just love it. This is why I created this platform because I wanted, to, you know, I loved talking to my favorite authors. And, and so and so questions, and so I'm up here like, why did she pick Boston, you know, for her series? And now talking to you, like she's been dreaming about Boston men for a long time. And I still haven't been able, I've never been able to visit it. It's on my bucket list, but you know. I've loved Boston since I was 10. I see. I yes. Know. Like almost, if you look at all of my, like if you go to my, my page list and you look at all of my series, yes. most of them are set in Boston. All of them. That's to you know what? That my agent told me, listen, you can't set this series in Boston. Pick another city. <laughs> you look, well, you should do like, oh, uh, let's see. Still New England. Do like yeah. Rhode Island or something, or you know, like the the uh, series that I have coming out the with with HQN, like the single title series that I have coming out with HQN in April. Mm -hmm. I said it in New England. It's just not. It's mm -hmm. it's just it's not in Boston, but it's set in New England, mm -hmm. in Massachusetts. But you know, I even like um. I don't know, even with the Hallmark movies and stuff. I like the whole New England, the Vermont. I, do too. Yeah, I like that. I love it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It I'm is. I'm trying to get my husband to move to Northeast. Should. My friends are like, we're not coming to see you. It's snowing. I'm like, okay, it's a Northeast, a Northeastern going on now. Yeah. But I tell them it's, it's it looks like a Hallmark channel. Like it's snow I everywhere. Coming. But the roads are clear. It's beautiful here. Yes. I so want to visit. I'm going to visit, girl. I'm telling you. We're going to have a good time, honey. It's on my bucket list. I swear. As soon as this whole COVID thing is over, with, I'm coming to visit. Uh, yes, you have to. I'm going to be right at the airport. Like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. A mess. Okay, so we are winding down our interview. I just got one last. Well, I have before I get to my last question. So we talked about you and about being published. So have you thought about just being like self-published after you know they ever go a moment? You're like, okay, I know I'm with this publishing company, but I think I want to kind of like do it on my own. You know, have you ever thought about that? I've self-published a few books. They're like novellas. Okay, so those are stuff. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And and I, I enjoy it because, you know, you get to control the entire book, the entire process, your cover, editing, when you want to put it out. The location. The, the location. The location. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell me where to put the book. Like, I get to control everything. So that's fun. Um, it's just like just a time thing. Mm -hmm. Like as like right now, I have a book that I've been that I've been writing that for what a year and it's just a time thing of finishing it that i asked i mean and i absolutely love the book 
I love the characters. I love, it's just finishing it. And, and I intend to put it out. Not, and I told myself, well, I'm going to put it out in like my newsletter. Like that way I can just write like a chapter a month. And then when I finish it, just like hit self-publish, you know, right. that way I can just like control the pace of it. And then it'll force me to write like a month. So it's, that's all it is, is just finding the time in between like the contracted books. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I love self-publishing. Yeah. So I, I intend to do more of it. You know, it's just, like I said, a time factor. A time factor. That's what's up. Hey, yeah. I like that girl. Yeah. I want to more power to the people do it. And wow. Like the, the people who, the, the authors who are self-published, I, I mean, I probably read more self-published authors than I do. <laughs> like I, I traditionally, because I mean, they're so, they put, they put them out like really a lot more often. And yeah. A lot of, and when I think of the authors that I read, a lot of them are self publishing more. And mm -hmm. so I'm just like grabbing them up. They're, I mean, they're wonderful. They're they are really wonderful. They are, girl. You're in, the, you're in that category as well. So oh, thank you. You are, honey. <laughs> you are, girl. I won't be talking to you if you wasn't, girl. <laughs> and that's the whole thing about this platform. It, it, so many people say, like, okay, Shay, we want you to do this. We want you to do this. And come on, girl. I'm like, hold on. No, because listen, I want to talk to who I want to talk to. I want to. <laughs> I'm trying not to be selfish. I, I want to talk to my favorite authors. <laughs> so that means I got to stay in control. Okay, so I got to stay in control, honey. Yeah. Yeah, no, I could, if I can't get through the first chapter, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> Let me be good. So before we get to the last question of the interview, now you might just want to say thank you so much for joining us. You are absolutely a beautiful person. <gasps> Thank you. We're gonna be the best. I have so enjoyed myself. Let me just tell you. I enjoyed you, girl, honey. It was ooh, this is beautiful. And you my kind of girl. And all the ways, honey. We'll email it about the rest of our later, but you <laughs> cannot let you go. So everybody, everybody, please go check out her new novel. It just released February the first. The name of it again, Naima? Is back in the Texans bed. Back in the Texas bed, honey. She getting back in now. I gotta go finish, I gotta go finish reading my last three chapters. But also go to Naima's website. Just give them all your website, your social media handles, so they know where to where to come and you know and holler at you at. And y'all go pick up that book, honey. It's good. Oh, my yes. the last three chapters. I'm gonna tell you. And I love you. <laughs> um, you can find me at uh, naimasimone.com. And I am on Facebook at Naima Simone Author. Yeah, I had to think about that. Naima Simone Author. And um, Instagram at Naima Simone Author. And you can always just search me at either place. And Twitter at, I'm not on there a lot, but, you know, I'm, I'm on there sometimes. And I can't really remember my handle, but <laughs> just search me. <laughs> I think I'm the only, no, I'm not the only one. But this face, you'll find it. Look at this face. <laughs> the face. Yeah, the, this face. I, think, I think it's Arthur Naima Simone. I don't get it. Yeah, it's. We will put all the uh, her social media handles <laughs> in the description below. Okay, just look down <laughs> below. Yeah. I'll, 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 I got your back, girl. Thank you. Thank I you. you. I got your back. So you got me up here looking like, what is it now? I know I just, <laughs> as old folks said, I just tweeted her the other day. <laughs> The other places are definitely Naeem Simone author, though. <laughs> we got those. All right. <laughs> All right. The last question. And I, thank you again for joining us. Like I thank said. Thank you for having this, me. This was fun. <laughs> it sure was. Damn. <laughs> if you were writing a book about your life, oh. what would the title be? <laughs> okay. Hmm. What would the title be? <laughs> I'm just gonna close my eye. I ain't gonna be saying that. Okay, I, I, I'm really wondering if I should, if I should say what just popped into my you mind. Should. You should. <laughs> you should. This is what we do here, the Brown Book series. You oh should. my God! I don't know what you say. What's the new word for keeping it real? Transparency. <laughs> <laughs> I told my husband I wouldn't curse. Oh, um, I, <laughs> okay. All right. Wait. Um. Okay. Oh, ain't this some bullshit? 
Hey, I love. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know. <laughs> you know. Thank you so much, Diva. You guys, make sure you go check out her new release, Back to the Texas Bed, A Secret Baby Reunion. Go pick it up anywhere, everywhere. Go find her, find her website. If you see her on the street, tell her to let you buy that book off of her. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great, it's my, <laughs> okay. It's a great novel. So check it out. Also on our website, we'll have it uploaded as well. Go to, um, the bookshelf is all the books that Shay's reading, and I'm reading one of those, honey. So you can go on there and get the information about that as well. But go to Naima's site, honey. Don't be coming to my site. Go to Naima's site. If you got any questions, any anything, go holler at her and then make sure you pick up her book. Naima, thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hold tight for me. And hey, everybody, every Wednesday, the Brown Book series will be on. So we'll be on every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Every Wednesday night, 6 p.m., go straight to our YouTube channel, and that's where we will be. All right, so tonight, though, tonight, Iris Bolin. She has Iris Moments over in Clubhouse, so make sure you go check her out. She'll be on at 8 p.m., but before you go there to the Clubhouse, when you finish with me at 6, make sure you go over at 7 o'clock over to Reese Ryan's uh, YouTube channel. Reese is talking to authors, honey. She's getting behind the scenes, honey. She get, honey, she's getting the dirt on the dirt dirt because, you know, she's an author, so she know all those off the words. How about that? That makes sense? I think so. So check me out Wednesdays, 6 p.m. After you leave me at 6, 7 o'clock, head over to Reese Ryan. This Wednesday at 8 o'clock, Iris Moments, okay? Iris Bowling should be in Clubhouse with some of her friends, honey. And um, they tell me it's a wonderful thing over there. So make sure you check her out. All right. I love you guys. Thank you again to Miss Naima Simone for hanging out with us. She's awesome. Go make sure you go pick up her book, and we'll see you guys next week. Open up your brown book, baby. It's for you, it's for us. The fantasies, no one can judge us. No one can judge us. This is for us. Open up your brown book. Baby.